Yeah, we're hopping on the bandwagon. Choo choo. So people have asked me in the past to rate all the jobs in Bravely Second and I responded in kind by making a top 5 video. But now that I see that there's a big trend of people making tier lists, I figured why not? I'll just make my own tier lists for Bravely jobs because that's easy enough. So as you can see here, um, I had to go and make all of my own images with uh, all the outfits of best girl because um, yeah, there's no traces of the Bravely Second Job icons on the internet. There's the Bravely Default ones, but let's be honest. Bravely Second Jobs are just better versions of Bravely Default Jobs. Now that's about it. Everybody knows how tier list works, so let's get to it. We'll start off with the basic class, the Freelancer. And we're gonna put Freelancer... We're gonna put it in uh, C. Freelancer still has some nice stuff to it. It's got Dungeon Master, it has Late Bloomer, which everybody seems to love and asks me why I never use it in my builds, but whatever. It's got um, Examine, which you don't really need anymore because you got that eyeglass item. I can't remember what it's called, but it, it's okay. It's okay. Eh. Swordmaster... <sighs> Swordmaster is another C rank. I don't care for it as much in second as I do in default. Now I know that two seconds ago I was just saying that classes in second are better than they are in default, but that's mostly just for the ones that didn't make it through. Swordmaster in second is like significantly worse because default you get touched by anything like you get touched by a particle in the air and you're slashing that atom in half and causing another nuclear explosion like anything that touched you you just countered this is like if it's tuesday and 304 in the afternoon and something touches you you can counter summoner we're gonna put that in b rank it's average i don't use summoner a lot just because i don't use it it's simple as that. I put it up to B tier because of two reasons. One, Magic and Bravely Second got buffed as hell. And two, um, it's now just a combination of Conjurer and Summoner, which it should have been in default and not split so the job doesn't do anything. So now it's kind of got more stuff going on with it, which makes it kind of useful. Hawkeye, straight to A rank. This right here is what Spell Fencer should have been in default. Not just, all I do is put elemental things on my weapons, it's elemental types on my weapons, and then some. It does so much more than that. It's so much better. Just so good. I can't, I can't really, like, you know, I can't really bash Hawkeye that much. The only thing is that I don't use it that much myself, even though it's really, really good. Um... I think my reason why is because like I don't really care for rifles or two-handed stuff so you can't use a shield. So that's kind of the one downside of it is that it relies on using two-handed weapons like that. Patissier, um, I'm going to put it in C. It's a really nice looking class, like I love the outfit and all, but I don't like item classes. I never loved using Saw of Maker even though it's incredibly overpowered. I don't like using Catmancer. I don't like using Patissier. I do not like to rely on items that could run out mid-fight and then a character is completely useless for the rest of the fight because, oh, I ran out of dragon's teeth. Oops. So yeah, I, I don't really have a lot of reliance on that. Mostly, I don't really care about the debuffs that come from it either, so like, eh, whatever. White Mage is D rank. White Mage has become completely useless. You do not use White Magic in Bravely Second. You use Bishop, because Bishop is infinitely better and everybody knows this. The only reason you level up White Mage is so you can get group cast all for your Bishop. Merchant is also D rank. Nobody likes you. The only reason I ever used Merchant was to do the Big Pharma grind in Bravely Default for infinite money. I have a video on that. Go check it out. Now that they capped that, I can't think of any reason I would use Merchant. Like, I can still earn plenty of Peeg from other sources, but now that you have made it less easy, what's the point in using this class? So, Merchant's just 
god awful now. Black Mage, um, I'm gonna kick it. Mm. This is a tricky one. I'm gonna leave it in B for my personal preference. Um, I don't really care for magic users as well, but because magic is so much stronger in uh, second, this can do some pretty good damage. Yeah, that's all. I never use Ranger. I don't give a crap about learning the different types of enemies and, do and weakness damage. It's just not worth it. These are like polar opposites, these two, Ranger and Hawkeye. One's really good and does kind of similar stuff. One is just annoying and I don't like it. Knight. I'm going to drop Knight to B rank. In default, I really liked the Knight. I like the fact that every time someone gets touched, you defend them. It's just, it's the same. Actually, no, we're going to drop down to C. It's the same problem as the Swordmaster, where now if it's 304 in the afternoon and the moon is out and it's snowing, and you're holding a red pencil in your left hand, you can block an ally if they get hit. You know, it's it's so requirement focused. Um, the only reason I give this like a C plus is just because it's so nice at defense and stuff. And still got like supercharge and all that kind of stuff, so it's fun. Ninja, I'll give B rank. I think it's a fine class. I'm not a particularly big fan of it myself I like its abilities I think a lot of really good stuff comes out of ninja and I love its design like ninja is one of the best looking classes in the game for outfits but I don't use ninja a lot and if you spam ninja and valkyrie you are bad at bravely that's just objective wizard is literally the best class in this franchise so far and yes I am aware that I'm referring to a 2ds game series one mobile game and a not even canonical PC game that isn't even translated here as a franchise, but Wizard is just perfect. It works in every situation. It just works, Chief. It can do magic damage, which is incredibly powerful in second. It can turn its magic damage into physical damage. It can do all kinds of different things with its magic due to spellcraft. It can apply spellcraft to every spell cast on that turn. There's this class is just so practical. There's and it's the first class that you unlock. You you start off with freelancer, but this is the very first one you get at the start of the game. There's literally no reason not to use wizard. My healer is a wizard with bishop commands, not the other way around. Exorcist is so broken and I love it. It's literally the undo class. That's the name of its abilities. Like, I don't know who thought of this thing, but it's it's so just like somebody thought it was a good idea to just give the players a character that goes, oh, the enemy did damage. OK, I'll just undo that and set them back. And the same goes for BP and MP. That's some big brain plays over at Square or Silicon or whatever they name themselves now. I do like the design of the Exorcist and the boss himself, though. So, yeah, he, that's an S rank. Watch this. Everything that's going to be an S rank is going to be in the top five video that I did earlier. Monk, I'm going to put an A rank or B, A. Actually, A. A. Monk's pretty solid. It's got a lot of health. It's got some good damage shit. I mean, like, you got Phoenix Flight, you know, and Qui-Gon Wave and, you know, all that fun stuff. So it's, it's a fine damage class. It works well. I don't use Valkyrie because I'm not a pleb, but I will put it in B rank because it's got some good stuff on it. Pirate is the best physical damage. Um, I can't say anything else. When I was talking about I don't like these debuffs, it's because this exists. I prefer much prefer using pirate smashes to cakes. I can rely on this much more. Performer is garbage and should never be used. The only use for it is BP battery, and I don't even do that. Time Mage... You know what? I'm going to put it in C for the sole reason that you can break the game with Meteor and a wizard. So it's mostly the wizards doing, but it's the fact that this class knows Meteor that makes it so broken. So we'll, you're, you get to slip in as like a C minus. You didn't fail the test, but you didn't pass either. Dark Knight is 
like one of my favorite classes and it's not just because I'm a massive edge lord. Minus strike is like my favorite damage ability in the game. It ignores defense first of all and you just keep hitting people for max damage. What's wrong with that? It constantly has abilities to lower its HP. It's just it's just amazing. It's just really good. Guardian Guardian's an interesting tank. I'm gonna drop it into B. See, here's the thing. I don't really give a crap about soul power, and the only time I possess people, I'm usually doing it in a double build, or if it's for like charging up a super special attack. Otherwise, I've never used possess, but it's got really high stats and some cool abilities if you do start doing soul power stuff, so like, yeah, it's got that. Kaiser is literally, like, similarly designed to Time Mage. It's like Time Mage is a Pokemon, and Time Mage evolves into Kaiser. Kaiser's... Um... A rank. It's, it's a really good design, and it just does weird stuff, but it does cool weird stuff. I like it. Time Mage is pretty much just garbage now because nobody really used Time Magic that much in default, let's be honest. The only reason you leveled up your Time Mage was so you could get Haste and World and Slow World. But now the game doesn't even have that, so you're useless. It does from the Kaiser, but it's called Dawn of Odyssey or something, and you get one BP every four turns, which is just... there's It's useless. There's no point to it. But Kaiser is just kind of like... Kaiser's like a modifier being added to a game. It's like putting on a skull in Halo is what all of its abilities do. And everybody moves in opposite speeds, so people that are slower move first, and everybody gets critical 1000%, and like, okay. I thought I was done with Geyser Grotto, but apparently not. I forgot that Templar was a class until I was making this video, um, because it's so immemorable. The only good thing to come out of this class was Fortitude. Charioteer, I'm gonna throw you under B. You're pretty solid damage, um, especially, and I love the fact that you can just throw off armor and say, screw it, I'm gonna hold a sword in my teeth and duct tape an axe to my forehead and you're just good to go. Like, you got some balls there and I appreciate that. Yokai is gonna be C rank. I love the design and I love the theme. Like I'm a, I'm a big creepypasta fan. Oops, there we go. Now there go all my subscribers. So I love horror and stuff like that. And I'm a sucker for the seven deadly sins. What can I say? And I like the idea of like uh, fighting bosses and taking those abilities after defeating them. But you come so late into the game. Like spoilers for Bravely Second, you don't come in until we're walking to the final boss. And then we just so happen to like bump into you if we choose to do so. And your spell costs are pretty outrageous. Even if they are supposed to be the strongest ones. It's just a really high cost, weirdly placed job. It doesn't make any sense. Fencer is like they took the sword and is Fencer is the reason why Swordmaster is so bad. I'm gonna be I'm just gonna be blunt there. Fencer is so much better, and it's just some nice damage. Um and it's much more like guaranteed uh, countering and stuff. I'm trying to decide whether it be A or B. I'm gonna go with A, mostly because there's some really good stuff you can do with Falcon Stance. Just don't lose your head, you do. Bishop is literally the best healing class ever. It's if Holly and Victor had a baby, that, that's what this is. Percentage-based healing is just so good. And then having all the other spells on the hand is also great. And as I've said, all the S-Class ones are from my top five job. Astrologian, we'll put it in B. I like using it to buff stuff. It's like a better performer, um, in my opinion at least. I, I like Astrologian, it's okay. If I put this below B or anything else, People are going to scream at me, so I'm just going to drop it there, and that's all i got to say. Red Mage is... eh. Like, who really gives a shit about Red Mage, let's be honest. You use it when you need somebody to be both damage and magic. It's got really good design, but 
and some nice BP abilities, but that's about it. Thief is the final class. We're gonna put you under D. The only reason you're under D is because you're just so bad. You have Prince of Thieves now, so like it's obvious how we steal rare items from bosses, but like... What else you got? You got... you don't have a lot else. So, yeah. So that is my Bravely Second Job tier list. Take a, take a good look. I called it. I knew this was going to happen. After looking at all the jobs. Mostly because those are the top five, in my opinion. They're just so good. This this is um, this is completely objective. You, you cannot argue this. Well, actually, you can if you make a response video and at me. I'd definitely love to see it. Make sure to go check out my top five builds. And if for some reason you do like creepypastas, this is my first time ever mentioning it, so go go check me out on the wiki. I got the same name. Yeah. That's all I really got. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'll review default classes someday. Okay, that's it. See you soon.